Hey, I'm Yu-Gi-Oh! Mushrot, and I'm coming to you on Team Sasha, Team Sasha Guard Channel with a Kiting deck profile. So, yeah, let me zoom in a little bit here. There we go. Um, another deck profile that you guys have seen on his channel, hopefully pretty soon, will be right, be right after. So, and then if you guys are curious to see a start to a deck that I'm thinking about making. Um, it's the Sacred Beast with the new support that came out in the Duel Saga. So, um, but yeah, that'd be for my channel only. So, but yeah, you guys just want to see the Kaiden deck profile. So, so three star strides. Um, basically, his effect is that when you summoned no zone, you get a cutting uh, token or cutting count on, on him, and you can get uh, counters equal to the number of cuttings that you control. So if you control two, you get two counters on uh, one of them. So, which is actually pretty cool. And then they cannot be destroyed by battle, which is really, really quite nice. But they're changed to defense; they get destroyed, which is the only downfall. But I know they're pretty good. And then cutting acid cloud. Um, same thing. Um, but his uh, service rush effect is that you remove two counters to destroy a monster. Acid's effect is that you remove two counters to destroy a spark trap. So. And then uh, Altus. He's one of the more stronger. Cardians, um, that are level four, but um, basically his effect is that you can remove three counters from anywhere, even on your punch monsters, and you can discard one card from their hand. So, with Dark Road's new support coming out and Shadow's starting to come back, this card isn't as good in those matchups, but anything else, it's pretty decent. So, um, yeah. And then three, uh, Sheep Cloud. This is in here, so that way you can make a token. And then if you, in case you don't have any other monsters and you got Moon Mirror Shield in your hand, you can at least use a token for attacking with it. So, yeah. And then three Foster Dino. This is Foster Dino, so very, very quite good this format. So, um, yeah, which is, Probably one thing I want to have to look out for with my raid, raid actors, but if I go first and, you know, that's not that big of a deal, so. So yeah, that's basically it for the monsters. Now for the spows. 3 Cardian Squall. Um, sorry for the bright light. Let me see if I can fix that really quick. That's much better. Sorry about that. But um, Cardian Squall, when it's activated during the semi-phase, all face-up monsters get a Cardian token, which lets your Altus be a lot more alive. So, yeah. And then two Moomir showed him. Uh, three is too coggy uh, for, some, for my build anyway, so that's why I just run two. So. And then two Potty just to get uh, anything else that you need to your hand, so. So yeah. And then two MST. And one twin structure, just help get rid of back row, stuff like that. So. And then one day piece to help prevent damage, so. But um, yeah, that's basically it for the spows, now for the traps. Three Dark Probe to help protect your um, monster or your uh, traps from being destroyed. So, and also suppose three to lose in turn because you basically know it's on your whole deck. So it's really, really quite good. Three wall, three wall coup uh, to protect, protect your monsters. So two blazing for damage 
Same thing with the Ranger, Ranger Destruction. And then Strong Rear Force. And then Lost Wind. So, yeah. But yeah, that's pretty it for the Cloudy Deck Profile. You don't really need an extra deck for this. At least for my build. If you guys take out the Foster Giant and the Loser Turn, I'd probably suggest an extra deck with it. But other than that, I don't really run one. So. But yeah, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and subscribe for more, more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos on Team Star Civil Guards channel. And don't forget to check out my channel and uh, subscribe if you guys like the content over at my channel. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll catch y'all in, in the next video. Right, later.